up guys welcome back to my channel oh my god I said welcome back to my channel this is the second video that we are posting and guys oh my gosh I'm so 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 excited I just want to thank you guys again for showing me so much love and support I want to thank everyone who liked comment and subscribed I want to thank everyone who viewed the video I wasn't expecting my video to get over 20 views honestly and I mean for us to have over a hundred views on the first video I feel like that's a big big huge milestone for me you know um, and I'm just excited to see where this journey takes me um, I just want to thank you all again for being so supportive and just being so loving and just being so understanding of me and who I want to be and um, I just couldn't I can't thank you guys enough all I am so excited to be bringing you guys this look today guys I'm absolutely obsessed with this look I just can't stop looking at myself in the monitor honey just look at this beat, girl. All right, y'all. So I'm going to just stop rambling now, and let's go ahead and get right into this look. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your future presentation. And without further ado, let's get glam. I've already done one eye already because I wanted to save you guys some time because I know I'm my very first video. I had y'all watching for like two days and 16 hours, and ain't nobody got time for that. Disrespect. I'm sorry. I'm learning how to edit you know gonna have to give me a little time I am already done with one eye and we are going to show you how we did it so let's go ahead and get into this mug honey okay so the first palette that we're gonna be using today is none other than the Morphe 35 F palette y'all I live by this palette I love it it has such great neutral tones in it and there's a lot of great shimmers in it and I'm gonna show you right now so you can see I love it when I bought this a while ago this retails for probably like I would say no more than $25 so I mean it's a really great deal and look at all the shades that you get in here you get a lot of shimmers like these are all your matte shades on the bottom I mean basic neutral matte shades you know cute and quaint or whatever and then all these shimmers like girl you can create looks for days for days darling so this is what we're gonna do we are going to go ahead and start and we're gonna get go in with this kind of darky brown color right here and we are going to dip into her like so okay so what we are going to do now is we are going to start right here on the outer corner and we're gonna start and we're gonna build it up and I mean obviously you're not gonna really be able to tell much that what I'm doing because it's on my skin tone but I mean I mean maybe not I mean I could tell the difference I like and we are going to continue to build that color up and this is you want to kind of do it above the crease like on the brow bone and you just want to build it up so build it up all the way into that corner and just keep building it up I kind of like to do circular motions and then swipe back in circular motions and then swipe back in circular motion swipe back in and just continue to repeat the process until I feel like I need more product. Okay, so now that we have blended that color to our liking, we're going to go back in with that same Morphe Nameless brush. Unfortunately, I bought a eye set from Morphe and they don't have the um, number on it, whatever the brush is. So we're going to call it Morphe Nameless. But um, we're going to go into the shade right here. It's kind of like a reddish red bone type of uh, brown or whatever like a sand I don't know but I like the color and we're gonna use it so we're gonna go ahead and dip into her and then we are gonna put that one a little bit below where we did that first shade okay Ooh, wrong side can you see good okay so we're gonna go ahead and do circular motions from the outside and pull it in circular motions from the inside out this time and like I said just a little bit below that shade that we started with the first time and as you can see it's starting to build up a little bit of depth and dimension so you know we want to build drama in that eye honey so we're just going to do circular motions pull her out circular motions pull her out okay sorry y'all so my camera died and I had to wait and let my battery charge so I'm really sorry about that it cut off in the middle of me talking so we're gonna go we're gonna finish off where we left off y'all I went to um Little Caesars and I literally had one eye done because I need to get the hot and ready because I got that hot and ready yeah. um, so I went to um Little Caesars to get a pizza and I literally was like I'm not taking this off because I'm gonna finish 
watch this video, obviously. And like people, everybody was looking at me like I was crazy. It was so funny. I lived. I just have all of Britain, Texas in a tizzy. And I'm living for it. But we're going to continue to go back in with the shade. I'm going to go one more time so we can uh, make sure that we got everything the way we want it to. And we are just going to blend that out a little bit more. And just build that color up. Build that drama up. Y'all, I really, really want to go to... The Essence Festival. It's in July, the 6th through the 8th. Because Jackie Ine is gonna be there. I love Auntie Jackie. Okay, guys, so now that we have that all blended out seamlessly, how we like it, what we're gonna do now is we are gonna go into the Tarte Toasted Palette, which I absolutely love. And we're just gonna use one shade out of this palette, and it's gonna be the Fireside Palette. It is the darker brown shade here and what the brush I'm going to be using today is going to be a Real Techniques shader brush and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that crease that crease um, with the with the shade and just the crease don't go above the crease just right inside the crease okay so we're going to go in the crease and you really want to start building up that depth and dimension for this look just windshield wiper motions make sure you're digging into that socket honey just to build up that depth and that dimension and you want to try your hardest not to go above that crease line sometimes it's hard depending on your brush I'm sorry my head is all the way down so y'all can't even see what I'm doing but yeah just like that I'm going to face y'all a little bit more so you can see. I cannot wait to do some collabs with people. I think it's gonna be so fun just, you know, just because it's something to do. One of my friends, um, Matt the Fierce One. Love you, sis. We need to collab soon, girl. What's tea? And then also we're gonna go into that outer V and that outer V is like right out here. We're gonna go right to that outer V, honey. Darken her up, make her nice and dark. Make her nice and poco, honey. We're just gonna pull that color out and pull it down into that outer V. Like I said. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that color that we, uh, that brush that we used before, I can find it, and I'm just gonna go over this just a little bit, just a little bit, nothing crazy. There we go. Okay, so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I failed again. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go into back into this palette with this darker shade right here. And we are going to just use a flat brush. I'm using just a nameless Morphe brush again. And I'm going in with this flat brush. And we are going to pack it on the lid. You want to pack it all on the lid. Pack it on the lid. Pack it on the lid. Pack it on this lid. And go a little bit above your crease. little bit above your crease and you just want to make sure you get that color nice and pretty and we're just going to continue to pack that on this might be a better view I gotta figure out these angles honey it's gonna be the death of me and if you hear something like running around that's my dog Charlie come here come here Come here, Charlie. Come here, baby. Come here, come here, come here, come here. We're gonna let YouTube see you. This is my dog. This is Charlie. He's shaved right now. He looks a little crazy and his face is wet because he was drinking water. But this is my goopy. I love him so much. He's three years old now, so it's just me and my puppy. And we're just gonna blend that harsh line out on top where the black is. We're gonna blend her out. So just circular motions, and we're just going to blend it. 
blend it all out, get rid of that harsh line. Keep blending, keep blending, circular motions, circular motions. And you wanna try your hardest not to pick, off, pick up too much of that black from your actual lid, because then you're gonna lose that that color on your lid, so don't bring that brush too far down. As I want to be real careful with when you when you're swiping, because sometimes I be getting carried away. Okay, guys. So now that we have that black packed on our eyelid, this is what you should have right now after you get done blending it out. And since this is a glitter look, of course we're gonna have to use uh, some glitter glue for the lid. And the glitter glue that I'm going to be using is none other than the NYX Glitter Primer. I love this stuff. Um, it's not very expensive. You can pick it up at your local Walgreens. Um, that's where I got this one, and it was cheap. It was like five dollars, five or six dollars. So yeah. So I'm gonna take a flat eco brush, um, and I got this all also at Walgreens it was cheap boots so yes you can get her and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some on this brush right here and then we're gonna pack this glue on the lid just so that whenever we place the glitter it's gonna stay and so we're just gonna pack it pack it on there I'm not gonna swipe just pack swipe or no swiping Swiper, no swiping. So now that your eyes are primed and ready for the glitter, we're gonna go ahead and grab this NYX glitter, this NYX glitter right here, and it is in the shade three, shade three in the NYX glitter. I also got this at Walgreens, <clears throat> which I love. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take this Sephora, um, I think it's like a Sephora, it's like a, it's like a packer brush, I guess. But I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply this glitter on my lid. You want to be really, really careful not to get too crazy. But what am I saying? Because I'm like literally getting crazy right now. This glitter is flying everywhere. So I just went off camera to apply the NYX liquid eyeliner and guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to apply that on camera right now because I am terrified that I'm going to mess up. Like I really needed to be in the mirror like this. So once I get a little bit better at that, I'll definitely be doing that. But right now, um, it's a struggle bus. Okay guys, so now that we are done and we got all that fallout off of my face, we're going to start applying the face products. And we are going to start with primer. And you guys know that I am a Fenty Beauty stand by now. And we are going to continue to use the Pro Filter by Fenty Beauty. I'm absolutely obsessed with this product. Um, like I said, it's really moisturizing. And um, I haven't found another... Ooh, I still got glitter all over me. Um, I haven't found another primer that works like this one. So, I love it. So now that we are done with that, we are going to go right into the foundation. Um, today we're not going to use Fenty Beauty. We are going to go ahead and use the number 7 Stay Perfect Foundation. I got this from Walgreens, um, and this is in the shade Hazelnut. I absolutely love it. Um, it's great. I mean, it has it's a great color. It's matte. You know, I love the way it looks. So, yeah. We're going to use her. So I'm going to squirt some on the back of my hand, and then... I'm going to apply it with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and this is stamp. And we're going to go ahead and get right into the beat. And this one is definitely a lot less red than my Fenty. And you'll be able to tell that right away. So this is giving me kind of like a different look, but I'm not mad at it. I kind of like it. You know, I like changing it up every once in a while. It's nice. I'm gonna apply a couple more pumps onto my hand. And we're gonna continue to apply the foundation. We're gonna make sure that you get all over the face. Get on that neck, honey.
So now that the foundation is all applied, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and set this foundation with the Laura Mercier powder in deep. Um, I really wanna get the Laura Mercier powder in um, the, the translucent, the white translucent, but yes, so you just tap it in here. Give her a little tap and we're just gonna set all this foundation, honey. Gonna set it. And this is gonna give me that matte look that I'm looking for. I hope. And this is gonna keep all of that foundation in place. And it's gonna help with creasing on your forehead. Now that our face is set, we're going to go ahead and get right into this contour, and I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso. I love this contour. I think this, I don't think I'm ever going to use a different contour. It's a creamy contour. I'm going to try not to go as heavy as I did in my last video. I'm going to try to do a little bit lighter, and we'll see, you know, I lied. I definitely went a little heavy, but it's okay. Y'all ain't gonna die. Then we're gonna get this chin here. And then we're gonna get this nose. To blend out this cream contour, I'm going to take my second Real Techniques. This is a completely clean Real Techniques um, sponge, and this is a smaller one than the first one I used. Um, but we're gonna take this one to blend out that contour, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend it up. Try to blend it up and just pack it and try to blend it up. until she's how you like her and then we're gonna go ahead and get this chin blend that jawline out like so y'all I'm living for this look right now it's so cute I can't wait to slap some lashes on and blend this nose contour out I'm gonna be using a more another morphe brush this is a part of the contour set and we're gonna just go in and we're gonna pull that contour down. We're gonna blend that contour down. Just like that, blend it down, blend it down. So now that we kind of blended that out a little bit, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Revolution um, Concealer in shade C13, and we are going to conceal. I'm gonna start with my nose first. And then we're just gonna pull that um, concealer up, up here. And we are going to pull it up into this forehead region, like so. In addition to the concealer that I just put on, we are going to go ahead and go in with C12. That's a shade below C13. And we're gonna put that in the bridge of my nose. So it's just a lighter shade, but we're gonna put it in the bridge. I like the contour. I love to contour. I think that's probably my favorite part of doing makeup. And we're just going to do it just like that. I'm going to go in with another um, contour brush and we're just going to pat it out. I'm going to pat it. Just pat it. Yes. No. Okay. Pat this along the nose. And now I'm gonna switch over to this Beauty Blender and we're just gonna blend it in. Blend all of that. Blend all of that up here. Just blend that forehead in. And there we 
go. Okay, so now that we're done concealing that part of the face, we're gonna go ahead and go and conceal the under eyes. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go in with C, go in with C13 first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do through, do a couple little dollops on my face. One, two, three. I should probably be using a mirror. <laughs> Or, yeah, one, two, three. C13, and we're gonna put some on the chin a little bit, and just a little bit right here on that lip, just like that. We're gonna go in with the Real Techniques buffing brush to blend this out. I love the way this makes it look as well. Out first, blend, and then we're gonna take this, and you wanna blend it all the way in there. And I know this is a little light, but I like it to look a little you know, bright or whatever. Gonna blend it out until you like it, or not until you like it, until it's blended out. <laughs> but just blend, blend. So now that you're done blending out your concealer, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and set the concealer with a loose powder from Alame, and it's the medium shade. I got this from Walgreens too, I don't remember when I got it, but. I replaced it with my cover FX. So we're gonna press and we're gonna set it. Set all this. It also brightens your under eyes too. And it helps with creasing. Just make sure you don't pull it out too far because if you do, you're gonna mess up your contour. And that concealer is set. She ain't going nowhere. Also what we're going to do is we're going to kind of bake this nose a little bit while we do everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of that powder and we're just going to bake this nose, honey. I love a good snatch nose. We are going to bronze with Anastasia Beverly Hills Mahogany. Y'all, I love this stuff. This is like my favorite bronzer in the entire world. Love it. And what we're going to do is we're going to dip in with this Morphe M530 brush right here. And we're just going to use this to bring a little bit more color back into our face. Because, um, you know, we use that powder and everything. So I'm just kind of just, you know, beating it over here. Adding a little bit more color. Giving me that sun-kissed glow or whatever. I love a good bronzy look. Definitely adds color back into your face. Okay guys, so now that bronzing is all complete, we're gonna go ahead and get right into the highlight. We're gonna go ahead and go in with Am Rizzi from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't got Max Fix Plus, but she gonna get some NYX Dewy. And we're gonna go ahead and dip into her. And we are going to go ahead and lightly, don't go crazy, don't, don't let it take over because it, can go from zero to a hundred real quick and you can see you can tell the shite the slight shimmer you just don't want it to overtake you you don't want it you don't want it to take you lord don't let it take you it's giving you shimmer it's giving you glisten it's giving you glow honey i'm gonna take that in rizzy and i'm gonna put some on my finger just like that and i'm gonna go on the bridge of my nose like that some people might say it's too much. I say it's great. Go ahead and move on to the lips. The lip that I decided to choose today is Jeffree Star Delicious. I haven't used this much. I haven't used much of his products since, you know, he's been a little controversial or whatever. But, you know, um, it's a really touchy subject. You know, like, I really do like his products. Um, I just wish he wouldn't be so controversial all the time. But, you know. It is what it is. I spent my money on these products and I'm going to use them. So, yeah. I mean, say what you want. Miss Star always gives you a sickening lip. Okay, guys. Now that the look is completely done, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera and go slap on some lashes and do my hair. And I will be right back. This is the final look. I went ahead and slapped on some lashes and baby, this look came to life, honey. I'm living. Oh my God, I'm glowing. I feel so pretty. <laughs> 
I want to thank you all again for watching and guys it's been great I can't wait to post another video after this next upcoming week I will have a updated schedule on when we're gonna be posting regularly so you guys know when to watch out for my videos also guys don't forget to check out my social media at glam god underscore 1990 which is my Instagram and Twitter really really appreciate all the love and the support again and I can't wait for my next video thanks again for watching see you next time bye